Welcome back, Michael, KC9PHK, presenting the 2020 to 2024 extra class question pool. This covers sub-element E7 over practical circuits. Eight exam questions come from the eight groups inside sub-element E7. E7A covers digital circuits, digital circuit principles, and logic circuits, classes of logic elements, positive and negative logic, frequency dividers, and truth tables. E7A01, which circuit is bistable? And that is a flip-flop. E7A02, what is the function of a decade counter? It produces one output pulse for every 10 input pulses. E7A03, which of the following can divide the frequency of a pulse train by 2? That's a flip-flop. E7A04, how many flip-flops are required to divide a signal frequency by 4? Answer is 2. E7A05, which of the following is a circuit that continuously alternates between two states without an external clock? That answer is a stable multivibrator. E7A06, what is the characteristic of a monostable multivibrator? Answer is, it switches momentarily at the opposite binary state and then returns to its original state after a set time. E7A07, what logical operation does a NAND gate perform? And that it produces logic 0 at its output only when all inputs are logic 1. E7A08 says, what logical operation does the OR gate perform? That answer is it produces logic 1 at its output if any or all inputs are logic 1. E7A09, what logical operation is performed by an exclusive NOR gate? It produces logic 0 at its output if only one input is logic 1. E7A10, what is a truth table? That is a list of inputs and corresponding outputs for a digital device. E7A11, what type of logic defines 1 as a high voltage? That is positive logic. E7B covers amplifiers, class of operation, vacuum tube and solid state circuits, distortion and intermodulation, spurious and parasitic suppression, microwave amplifiers, switching type amplifiers. E7B01, for what portion of signal cycle does each active element in a push-pull class AB amplifier conduct? That is more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. E7B02, what is a class D amplifier? A type of amplifier that uses switching technology to achieve high efficiency. E7B03, which of the following components form the output of a class D amplifier circuit? That is a low-pass filter to remove switching signal components. E7B04, where on the load line of a Class A common emitter amplifier would bias normally be set? Approximately halfway between saturation and cutoff. E7B05, what can be done to prevent unwanted oscillations in an RF power amplifier? That would be install parasitic suppressors and or neutralize the stage. E7B06, which of the following amplifier types reduces even order harmonics? That is push-pull. E7B07, which of the following is likely result when a Class C amplifier is used to amplify a single sideband phone signal? That is signal distortion and excessive bandwidth. E7B08, how can an RF power amplifier be neutralized? That's by feeding a 180 degree out of phase portion of the output back to the input. E7B09, which of the following describes how the loading and tuning capacitors are to be adjusted when tuning a vacuum tube RF power amplifier that employs a Pi network output circuit? Answer is the tuning capacitor is adjusted for minimum plate current and the loading capacitor is adjusted for maximum permissible plate current. E7B10 in figure E7-1, what is the purpose of R1 and R2? And that is voltage divider bias. E7B11 in the figure E7-1, what is the purpose of R3? Self bias. E7B12, what type of amplifier circuit is shown in figure E7-1? 
That's a common emitter. E7B13, which of the following describes an emitter follower or common collector amplifier? That is, an amplifier with low impedance output that follows the base input voltage. E7B14, why are switching amplifiers more efficient than linear amplifiers? That is, the power transistor at the saturation or cutoff most of the time. E7B15, what is one way to prevent thermal runaway in a bipolar transistor amplifier? Use a resistor in series with the emitter. E7B16, what is the effect of intermodulation products in a linear power amplifier? Transmission of spurious signals. E7B17, why are odd order rather than even order intermodulation distortion products of concern in linear power amplifiers? That's because they are relatively close in frequency to the desired signal. E7B18, what is a characteristic of a grounded grid amplifier? Low input impedance. E7C covers filters and matching networks, types of networks, types of filters, filter applications, filter characteristics, impedance matching, and DSP filtering. E7C01, how are the capacitors and inductors of a low-pass filter pi network arranged between the network's input and output? The answer is a capacitor is connected between the input and ground, another capacitor is connected between the output and ground, and an inductor is com connected between the input and output. E7C02, which of the following is a property of a T network with series capacitors and a parallel shunt inductor? That answer is it is a high pass filter. E7C03, what advantage does a series L pi L network have over a series L pi network for impedance matching between the final amplifier of a vacuum tube transmitter and an antenna? The answer is greater harmonic suppression. E7C04, how does an impedance matching circuit transform a complex impedance to a resistive impedance? That answer is it cancels the reactive part of the impedance and changes the resistive part to a desired value. E7C05, which filter type is described as having ripple in the passband and a sharp cutoff? A Cherbyshev filter. E7C06, what are the distinguishing features of an elliptical filter? Extremely sharp cutoff with one or more notches in the stop band. E7C07, what describes a Pi L network used for matching a vacuum tube final amplifier to a 50 ohm unbalanced output? A Pi network with an additional series inductor on the input. E7C08, which of the following factors has the greatest effect on the bandwidth and response shape of a crystal ladder filter? The relative frequencies of the individual crystals. E7C09, what is a crystal lattice filter? A filter with narrow bandwidth and steep skirts made using crystal quartz crystals. E7C10, which of the following filters would be the best choice to use in a 2 meter band repeater duplexer? Answer is a cavity filter. E7C11, which of the following describes a receiving filter's ability to reject signals occupying an adjacent channel? That is a shape factor, shape factor. E7C12, what is one advantage of a pi matching network over an L matching network consisting of a single inductor and a single capacitor? The Q of pi networks can be controlled. E7D, power supplies and voltage regulators, solar array charge controllers. E7D01, how does a linear electronic voltage regulator work? The conduction of a control element is varied to maintain a constant output voltage. E7D02, what is a characteristic of a switching electronic voltage regulator? The control device's duty cycle is changed to produce a constant average voltage output. E7D03, what device is typically used as a stable voltage reference in a linear voltage regulator? That is a Zener diode. E7D04, which of the following types of linear voltage regulator usually makes the most efficient use of primary power source? That is a series regulator. 
E7D05, which of the following types of linear voltage regulator places a constant load on the unregulated power source? That is a shunt regulator. E7D06, what is the purpose of Q1 in circuit shown in figure E7-2? It controls the current supplied to the load. E7D07, what is the purpose of C2 in the circuit shown in figure E7-2? It bypasses rectifier output ripple around D1. E7D08, what type of circuit is shown in figure E7-2? That is a linear voltage regulator. E7D09, what is the main reason to use a charge controller with a solar power system? Prevention of battery damage due to overcharge. E7D10, what is the primary reason that a high frequency switching type high voltage power supply can be both less expensive and lighter in weight than conventional power supply? The high frequency inverter design uses much smaller transformers and filter components for a, an equivalent power output. E7D11, what is the function of the pass transistor in a linear voltage regulator circuit? It maintains nearly constant output voltage over a wide range of load current. E7D12, what is the dropout voltage of an analog voltage regulator? That answer is minimum input to output voltage required to maintain regulation. E7D13, what is the equation for calculating power dissipated by a series linear voltage regulator? Voltage difference from input to output multiplied by output current. E7D14, what is the purpose of connecting equal value resistors across a power supply filter capacitors connected in series? And the answer here is all of these choices are correct. Equalize the voltage across each capacitor, discharge the capacitors when voltage is removed, and provide a minimum load on the supply. E7D15, what is the purpose of a step start circuit in a high voltage power supply? To allow the filter capacitors to charge gradually. E7E modulation, demodulation, reactants, phase and balance modulators, detectors, and mixer stages. E7E01, which of the following can be used to generate FM phone emissions? A reactance modulator on the oscillator. E7E02, what is the function of a reactance modulator? To produce PM or FM signals by using an electrically variable inductor or ductance or capacitance. E7E03, what is the frequency discriminator stage in an FM receiver? That is a circuit for detecting FM signals. E7E04, what is a one way, what is one way a single sideband phone signal can be generated? By using a balanced modulator followed by a filter. E7E05, what circuit is added to an FM transmitter to boost the higher audio frequencies? That is a pre-emphasis network. E7E06, why is de-emphasis commonly used in FM communications receivers? For compatibility with transmitters using phase modulation. E7E07, what is meant by the term baseband in radio communications? That is the frequency range occupied by a message signal prior to modulation. E7E08, what are the principal frequencies that appear at the output of a mixer circuit. The two input frequencies along with their sum and difference frequencies. E7, E09, what occurs when an excessive amount of signal energy reaches a mixer circuit? Spurious mixer products are generated. E7, E10, how does a diode envelope detector function? By rectification and filtering of RF signals. E7, E11, which type of detector circuit is used for demodulating SSB signals. That is a product detector. E7F covers DSP filtering and other operations, software defined radio fundamentals, DSP modulation and demodulation. E7F01, what is meant by direct digital conversion as applied to software defined radios? Incoming RF is digitized by an analog to digital converter without being mixed with a local oscillator signal. E7F02, what kind of digital signal processing audio filter is used to remove unwanted noise from a received SSB signal? That answer is an adaptive filter. E7F03, what type of digital signal processing filter is used 
to generate an SSB signal, that is, a Hilbert transform filter. E7F04, what is the common method of generating an SSB signal using digital signal processing? Signals are combined in quadruple phase relationship. E7F05, how frequently, see, frequently must an analog signal be sampled by an analog to digital converter so that the signal can be accurately reproduced? At least twice the rate of the highest frequency component of the signal. E7F06, what is the minimum number of bits required for an analog to digital converter to sample a signal with a range of 1 volt at a resolution of 1 millivolt? That answer is 10 bits. E7F07, what function is performed by a fast Fourier transform? Converting digital signals from the time domain to the frequency domain. E7F08, what is the function of a decimation? Reducing the effective sampling rate by removing samples. E7F09, why is an anti-aliasing digital filter required in a digital decimator? It removes high frequency signal components that would otherwise be reproduced as lower frequency components. E7F10, what aspect of receiver analog to digital conversion determines the maximum receiver bandwidth of direct digital conversion SDR, and that is the sample rate. E7F11, what sets the minimum detectable signal level for a direct sampling SDR receiver in the absence of atmospheric or thermal noise? Reference voltage level and sample width in bits. E7F12, which of the following is an advantage of a finite impulse response, FIR filter, versus an infinite impulse response, IIR digital filter? FIR filters can delay all frequency components of the signal by the same amount. E7F13, what is the function of taps in a digital signal processing filter? Provide incremental signal delays for filter algorithms. E7F14, which of the following would allow a digital signal processing filter to create a sharper filter response? More taps. E7G, covering active filters and op-amp circuits, active audio filters, characteristics, basic circuit design, and operational filters. E7G01, what is the typical output impedance of an op-amp? Very low. E7G02, what is ringing in a filter? Undesired oscillations added to the desired signal. E7G03, what is the typical input impedance of an op amp? Very high. E7G04, what is meant by the op amp input offset voltage? The differential input voltage needed to bring the open loop output voltage to zero. E7G05, how can unwanted ringing and audio instability be prevented in an op-amp RC audio filter circuit. Restrict both gain and Q. E7G06, what is the gain bandwidth of an operational amplifier? The frequency at which the open loop gain of the amplifier equals 1. E7G07, what magnitude of voltage gain can be expected from the circuit in figure E73 when R1 is 10 ohms and RF is 470 ohms? That answer is 47. E7G08, how does the gain of an ideal operational amplifier vary with frequency? Answer is, it does not vary with frequency. E7G09, what will the output voltage of the circuit shown in E7-3 be if R is 1,000 ohms, RF is 10,000 ohms, and 0 0.3 volts DC is applied to the input. Answer is negative 2.3 volts. E7G10, what absolute voltage gain can be expected from the circuit in figure E7-3 when R1, it, R1 is 1,800 ohms and RF is 1,800 kilo ohms, or 6,800 kilo ohms? Answer is 38. E7G11, what absolute voltage gain can be expected from the circuit in figure E7-3 when R1 is 3,300 ohms and RF is 47 kilo ohms? Answer is 14. E7G12, what is an operational amplifier? A high gain 
direct coupled differential amplifier with a very high impedance and very low output impedance. E7H covers oscillators and signal sources, types of oscillators, synthesizers, and phase lock loops, direct digital synthesizers, stabilizing thermal drift, microphonics, high accuracy oscillators. E7H01, what are the three oscillator types used in amateur radio equipment? Those are Colpitts, Hartley, and Pierce. E7H02, what is a microphonic? Changes in oscillator frequency due to mechanical vibration. E7H03, how is positive feedback supplied to a Hartley oscillator? Through a tapped coil. E7H04, how is positive feedback supplied in a Colpitts oscillator? Through a capacitive divider. E7H05, how is positive feedback supplied in a Pierce oscillator? Through a quartz crystal. E7H06, which of the following oscillator circuits are commonly used in VFOs? Colpitts and Hartley. E7H07, how can an oscillator's microphonic responses be reduced? Mechanically isolate the oscillator circuitry from its enclosure. E7H08, which of the following components can be used to reduce thermal drift in crystal oscillators? NPO capacitors. E7H09, what type of frequency synthesizer circuit uses a phase accumulator, lockup table, digital to analog converter, and a low pass anti alias filter? That is a direct digital synthesizer. E7H10, what information is contained in the lookup table of a direct digital synthesizer? Known as DDS. Answer is amplitude values that represent the desired waveform. E7H11, what are the major spectral impurity components of a direct digital synthesizer? Spurious signals at discrete frequencies. E7H12, which of the following must be done to ensure that crystal oscillators provide the frequency specified by the crystal manufacturer? Provide the crystal with a specified parallel capacitance. E7H13, which of the following is a technique for providing highly accurate and stable oscillators needed for microwave transmission and reception? All of these choices are correct, which is use a GPS signal reference, use rubidium, stabilized reference oscillator, use a temperature controlled high Q dielectric resonator. E7H14, what is a phase lock loop circuit? An electronic servo loop consisting of a phase detector, a low pass filter, a voltage controlled oscillator, and a stable reference oscillator. E7H15, which of these functions can be performed by a phase locked loop? Frequency, synthesis, and FM demodulation. And that will conclude all of element 7. Don't forget to follow us for additional videos as the extra class videos are rolled up. Thank you once again.